architecturally fully integrated prepatinated copper facade solar thermal collector. It's a pretty long term, but uh, we are combining there together uh, our standard uh, prepatinated copper and a solar thermal functionality in a way that nobody else is doing in the world. And in this case, we wanted to combine them together to create the product which would give an architect full freedom to use copper in the surface of the building and at the same time provide solar thermal energy with the same facade without making any compromises to the visual outlook of the building. All the architects I've been discussing about, they, they love the idea, especially because we are not tied to one or two products as such, but we are giving them an opportunity that they can choose from our portfolio, which is quite large. Let's say that we started from the scratch idea approximately in the somewhere 2007, 2008, then we got the contact from the Pori officials and the people who are, were responsible for this new swimming complex at February 2009. So already we had already think about what we shall do. And then we, got, we were given this opportunity to uh, demonstrate how it really works. So here you can see the operation principle. It's uh, quite simple. We have normal uh, panel, which is, is our 401 model here and you cannot see anything on this side. It is made normally, but what is really uh, the cheese here, it's on the other side. So these copper tubes are joined into the back side in a way that they are completely invisible from the outside. In Finland we have two universities as partners and uh, two solar thermal companies because we see our role that we are supplying only the facade material and what is underneath the facade. But we need partners first to analyze as universities what is really happening in the system, that how much energy it is providing and in, in which kind of conditions. That is what the pilot plant has been uh, monitored for, for more than two years now. The role of TEKES has been very crucial because without TEKES we could have not done this. We had al already at that time when we started this uh, practical work, one TEGES project running, which was uh, quite similar to this, except that we didn't have any of these patina patinated covers there. But we added first uh, optical measurements of all of these, which we are providing to our customers to see that would they work in this kind of application. And to our astonishment, we found out that, hey, it, it would work. That it, it's a good starting point because this is all based on physics. So if it, if it really doesn't work, then it doesn't work, it doesn't matter what you do. But with this TEGES project we were able to determine that, okay, this is better than that, but all of them are working, and then we started to work and we, we guided that TEGES project into this direction and we uh, put a lot of effort from that project also towards this, that we could commercialize and make this happen.